quadripolar community education. Now we often hear schools referred to as community schools, but really this should be this community school should be the one stop shop for everything. Yeah. Remember the quadripolar, the I, I, the, the imaginary one, the imagination is the community school where everybody in the community goes. It's a referral centre, but also a, a school, a learning centre. You know, for example, you could have a nurse teaching first aid and dealing with triage for medical services. So you could, the, you could have a career, a job centre and career guidance so the students are aware of career opportunities you know, within the community. So everybody goes here and then they're allocated a job. For example, I think people who are housebound should watch the CCTV and keep an eye on the community, supervise the community. This is natural. They should be grouped into teams. You know, I think that mental health issues should be dealt with by the spiritualist. You know, anyone who claims to be a spiritualist or having empathy or, you know, sympathy with others should be there to calm, calm them down. So to, to practice as any sort of spiritualist, you should commit to helping the mentally ill, not giving them addictive you know, brain destroying or mind and emotional destroying chemicals to just make money and exploit us and destroy our communities. So everybody goes to the community centre and everybody participates. If people can't go to the community centre then we need to know why. We need to know why. Come there for the job centre and the referral. Now the students are then allocated to the, the first one is to do it, is pi, which is movement, which is mathematics and science in the chess club. You have the school, a school, one school separate devoted to the sciences, to math, sciences and a, and a chess club. You know, to, to the, and, and it's also a law school. It's just about laws and principles that govern, you know, our behaviour, you know, and science and and the world. Then the the next one is E, the exponential, which is English. Now I call it English because you know I'm English speaking. So insert your own language. So but what we call English, like the study of English language and literature, is about critical thinking, sustained reasoning. So we have a debating society. So with the maths and science we have a chess club. With the English critical thinking, sustained reasoning, we have a debating society. And here we have Equality, this is about equality, mirroring each other, understanding each other. And then we come on to phi, the I. We have art and psychology, seeing the self, understanding the self, the psyche and its dealings, its relationships with others. Art, drawing, seeing the intent the psychology, the art, the heart of the matter, the intent. Why am I telling you this? To integrate and develop the community, for everyone to participate and develop their personality, their character, themselves. This is the art and psychology and sociology, social psychology. We can have the politics and religion in the community the democracy, the community centre, the community meeting, the, 
the, the, if you like, the now coming down here, we, we have time, the fourth dimension, which is about timetables in, in the society, in the community. It's about heavy industry, waste materials, recycling, you know, discipline, the police, you know, control. The timetable, the schedule. Everybody's got to be a certain place at a certain time. Not, not, not everyone. I'm talking about not talking about rigid, rigid control. You know, you understand what I mean. We talk about policing. We talk about control, timetabling. The third dimension is the home, where everything belongs, which is a smell. So we can have perfumes. It's about diplomacy, but primarily it's about geography. Geography is smell mapping. It's about geography. Geography is about the water supply. So it's about testing the purity of the water. It's about a temple, the healing. See, all of these things come under that section of the home, somewhere home in the temple where people can be healed. So it's about healing. The, the medical facilities should be here in this section. The swimming pool, the water, the spa. To calm the, you know, this is where the spiritualists need to be employed, if you like, to uh, you know calm down the mentally ill. You know, with a temple, with this silence. All, as I say, supervised by different teams in different positions. Here we, we come down to the sixth dimension, which is the garden, which is wood, botany. You know, we could have uh, food, shops, shopping, the shopping centre, the mall, the, the restaurants. This is in this area, the botany, the wood, the flowers, the flowers. Again, you, you see the importance of this to do with the geography, you know, and somewhere that we need to go and relax, like the shopping and in the gardens, in the trees, amongst the trees. Seven is chemistry, you know, possessions, catalogue, the choices that are available, the objects in our minds that we're brought up with, that we seek to buy and acquire the external objects. It's about chemistry, material structures, Analysis of our foods, tastes, you no know, chemicals in our food, too much salt, too much sugar. This is the re responsibility of this group, this section. Then we come on to eight, the energy. It's about music, you know, making sweet music together, the sex education, the nature of sex education, and bonding with each other, interrelationships. And then the breakdown of, of, of that sweet music together into perverted relationships which are based on drugs or violence or you know, alcohol or all sorts of abuse. It's you know, about music, energy, energy supply in the community, you know, the, the wind and the waves. And then we have the world, the actor, the dance, the roads, you know, our actual, em our actual environment. So this, see my videos on an integrated, a unified field, art and science model for education to go along with this. But again, you see that they all fit into the same model, and I haven't tried to be comprehensive. You know, just given a brief integrated outline, so you can understand the usefulness and its practicality, and how it accurately reflects or is a model for our nature, a model for us all to follow, for a better community, for a functioning understanding of the things we need and things we need to supervise and control. 
so that in the different groups, in the English and in the maths, again it's based upon teamwork, two teams, an inner team developing the skilled at an accelerated rate, as fast as possible, an internal mechanism, an internal gear wheel, so that those who are dedicated into maths you know, are keenly developed. And then they function as a team to educate the, the other team, the, the reluctant, the ones who don't like maths because their parents don't like maths. You know, they just need to be educated, calm down, now somebody who's keen on the subject to be educated. Again, for the English, people who are keen on the play, on the words, on critical thinking. You, you know, they're the ones who form the inner team to develop the outer team of the reluctant, who need to learn their English, improve their communication skills. Again, for the art and psychology, it's about self-knowledge, understanding intent, seeing intent in others, understanding the psychology, and appreciating art, the, you know, the ideas of art, the perception, the drawing, the cartoons, the beginning, you see, drawing, music, and dance, the beginnings of education, the flowering of education, 